Hello and welcome to Search Jam Daily, the show that brings you bite-sized hip-hop updates right to your cell phone or whatever you're using. We are also on 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 Statistics TV as well as the DJ Tso's IGTV channel and Search Jam 8. So you can get this episode on those mediums. Right, let's get on to the second episode of IGTV and my track of the day for Friday the 18th of September. Five tracks, including my track of the day, features on this episode alone. So I'm without further ado, I'm just gonna go straight into the honorable mentions list. My first honorable mention goes by the name of Lil Keed and is remixed with Travis Scott called Wavy. This track has no right to be here. Not the remix or anything, it's just the track by by Lil Keith because the original was actually not that great in my opinion, it, it, it was mediocre at best. However, this remix and Travis Scott's inclusion on it has really elevated the track. It has actually made it a lot more listenable and a lot more appealing. With this remix, there's actually a lot that can be seen that's different. He's a lot more, in my opinion, a lot more wanting, a lot more daring. Maybe it's because he, know, he now knows that he's got someone who's recognized back in the track. How, uh, but even with all those good things happening for the track, it's still not good enough for my top track of the day. So, just like that, let's get off low key and let's get Get on to Sean Wanda. Sean Wanda is not a name that a lot of people would actually know. In fact, he actually released this track only because of the entire global pandemic, which has caused a lot of artists to go straight into studios and start working on their music. Now we know how Sean Wanda actually arrived at this and I arrived at releasing this track. It was due to the whole global pandemic and it was only supposed to be a side hustle. However, before the whole pandemic, he was actually really all around the scene. He actually experienced success uh, with his contributions on Skepta's Young Ads as well as Chips album called Insomnia and on top of that he's written for the likes of Brandy uh, on the track Say Something for her brand new album called B7. So this guy is not necessarily someone to just take lightly. I'm actually very interested to see where it goes on from here. So Double Up it, um, by Sean Wonder is my second honor mention. From one honor mention to the next we have Swarms with, the, with his brand new track However Do You Want Me. Got tens and twenties, packs they plenty. Tell me what you need from me. I was in a bando cooking up grub. Had to send my young boy go out in the street. So that just get surely turn us. Drop for me on my burners. This someone fess up. Someone has to fess up. Where did this come from? This track really blindsided me the first time I heard it a couple of days ago. I was really taken away. The quality that's in this track is undeniable, but it's also the flip, the creative flip on the concepts that, that the songs were going for. It was very well produced in the sense of using a classic sample from Soul to Soul, how, um, however do you want me. No doubt this track, I personally believe, will actually do the numbers. I really see it here in the UK chart, so I'm just gonna get off that honorary mention and go on to the next. The next honorary mention and the final honorary mention goes by the name of Young Gravy. As you can tell, I was really losing my composure before I even finished saying his name. But yes, his name is actually Young Gravy and he has released his brand new song, Yup. Sign on to Republic, Young Gravy as... Uh, <laughs> Young Gravy's style on this, I'm... Honestly, I personally picked this because it was actually a feel-good track. It was actually a track that actually changed my mood. It was a track that really put me in a good mood and things like that sometimes does take present. This, yeah, I know, the barrier, of, <laughs> yeah, I know, the barrier for this show is actually flat. <laughs> but seriously, but seriously, Young Gravy is actually a talent and the reason why I actually picked this track is purely for its creativity. Um, I understand that this is gonna this this is gonna appear like marmite to some people. They're gonna you either gonna love it or you hate it. But there is something about this track that makes it that does make it stand out and makes it very unique. Which is why I just couldn't ignore it. From the honorable mentions to the track of the day, and my track of the day goes by the name of Nines. He has released a track in collaboration with NSG, and it's called Airplane Mode. Airplane mode to ignore them. Yeah, we are please so I don't fear them. I can't talk to the work up in the chairman. Can't put them got the 
Okay, give me a break. I know that this track is doing the rounds right now. However, I've just started a series and there's no way I'm gonna do this series without actually including this. Now, Nines has really had a slow and steady progressive career. He has done the right things. Before his debut album called One Foot Out actually was released in, in 2017. He has always been really spoken highly of, especially by his third mixtape, I believe. A lot of people were really starting to take on to the rapper. To be honest, his potential was always there to be seen. One for that, it was actually his announcement onto the scene. And I won't lie, for a debut album, it was actually pretty good. It includes the likes of UK artists such as Akala, who is super dope i'm pretty sure they may have linked up around 2014 when akala was 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 working on his album this is probably how the how the pair actually met but i'm not sure i'm just speculating and also jay huss remember this was 2017 jay huss was in the height of his powers and for and for nines to be able to get jay huss onto his album and also burner from whisk Khalifa's taylor gang a record label this was actually a massive coup and a massive introduction onto the scene and also it also detailed its intent for the hip-hop game real name courtney freckleton didn't stop there no 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 a year later he followed up um with his album called crop circle it and this one was 10 times better re receiving a lot of critical acclaim with reputable sources such as pitchfork giving the album the original 7.5 out of 10 which was actually a very big deal back in 2018 the album included the likes of baby lk uh dave and also Haley from western and the album went straight into number five on the uk billboard charts now he is back with a brand new album called crabs in a bucket and this is actually why i picked airplane mode as my track of the day now airplane mode was the actual single to to his brand new album uh, crabs in a bucket and this is why it the, the track does so well not only does it fit in with the album narrative of the of the concept of crabs in a bucket meaning that people as you're trying to climb out that there are actual people trying to pull you back down not only does airplane mode actually suggest this and actually flips it on its head to actually tell a story of well uh, to actually tell a story of ignoring all of that and putting that all onto a back burner personified by a feature that we use on our phones when we don't want to be disturbed. Who wants crabs to come anywhere near them to try and pull them down? That was the story on the single. And that story reflects the album beautifully. This is something that I am a sucker for. This is something that, that really gets onto my heart because that is why I picked Airplane Mode. And also, it is produced by Rudimental, the same person that was producing uh, tracks like Waiting All Night featuring Ella Irie. Now the, the, now, the evolution in sound of Rudimental does deserve its own video, but right now, it's all about the evolution of Nines. Nines, on this album, Crabs in a Pocket, it, it features the likes of Nay Small, Sticks the, Sticks the Arter, and also what could be a cool with, with Oval Sound's Roy Woods on the Steel Bangles track, Money Ain't a Thing. Now, I haven't actually listened to this album, so I am um, so... I'm actually just going by the album title of Crabs in a Bucket. This album will be listened to and I may I may actually review it. I'm just like that I'm going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you so much for checking out this, this episode of Cell Jam Daily. Please, please, please do comment below. I want to hear your thoughts on this video. I want to hear what, what your honorable questions would be. I want to hear what your track of the day would be. Let me know. If you're watching this on YouTube, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps us a lot. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.